Last time on Spy X Family. It hasn't really been easy goings ever since the start of Honor going to Eden's Academy from Twilight's mission, Project Strix. Getting her close to her his target son, Damien, has been all but impossible. Operation Apology was a no-go. And even in terms of studying, Anya seems to be just having too many difficulties. But Lloyd hasn't given up, and has found a newfound appreciation for Anya in her particular situation. Although the question still continues forward, will Anya be able to become one of those elite students helping along Twilight's mission? And with the recent introduction of Yuri's brother Yuri, the question becomes, what will she think of his big sister's new husband? Let's find out. Can a strategic camouflage against secret police surveillance? What? Arthur, you should give the answer to this question. Miss Anya Forger. Three thirds. <laughs> it's totally wrong. Aw, oh, poor girl. <laughs> and how are things, Twilight? Regarding your daughter's studies. It's a pretty lady. Of course, especially when she goes eight stone stars at four months. Four? No problem. You know, you got worse than like. You could get eight times as close to two months. Or whatever. This morning, one of our reformers at City Hall got taken down. They may not even tighten their grip. You be careful, Twilight. Their eyes and ears are everywhere. The city streets go without saying. But there may be in Eden's grounds too. The country's counterintelligence is free, so. Okay, so that's who Yuri is part of. The counterintelligence. That is hilarious. So Anya is a psychic. Lloyd is a spy, Yor is a assassin, and Yuri is counterintelligence. My god. What, what do you want? Hmm? State Security Service. You're Jim Hayward. We're taking you in a suspicion of spy activity. Spy? What are you talking about? Hey! Stop it, let me go. You can explain at your office. They knocked him out. Damn! It all went down this morning. These it was so scary for real. And then they took from finance. And he was selling off official documents. What a bad man. Morning. Yeah, good morning. Good morning, Miss Camino. Hey, hey, Miss I heard this from my boyfriend. Are you sure you haven't told your brother you got married? Alright, I quite forgot. Forgot? For a whole year? Lloyd had the marriage records backed up by a year. Damn. Apparently he said he'd phone you up later. Oh, that's right. I didn't give him my new phone number. I felt so relieved to be wet I completely forgot so much. Hey, is your brother hot? Jeez, they look almost exactly the same. Hey, he's cute. I'm quite. Yeah, he's very cute. So I stuck by my side saying, big sis, miss, big sis, uh. Yeah, he's got a thing for his sis, I'll pass. So he absolutely adores you, and you still forgot to tell him about your marriage? That's kind of awful. Hey, let's take it from the top again. Oh, jeez, are they torturing the dude? How many documents were there in the files you took from the office? Who do you fell into? Name, appearance, brother, and how many times did you meet? I want to go home. The state security. An organization to maintain public order in the nation. Their main duty is to hunt spots and monitor the people. Oh, oh God! They commit violence, blackmail, riots, every tortures every day. People fear them, call them the secret police. That's where you work with Ed. There he is! The boss said I should take over. Okay. Well, he's all yours. Second Lieutenant Bryan. I'll do my best. Yuri Bryan, 20 years old. The man is part of the secret police. Why did the boss bring that softie into the team, sir? I'm sure he's smart, but he always he's just a kid. He set up the ranks for a hot shot of foreign office worker. Oh, the boss said, huh? I mean, he's so cute, though. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of a dog. What? So he said, I see. We do have an audience in your home. Well, I can always do with a few guys like that. Besides, we got what it takes, that one. He's kind of... Hello, Mr. Hayward. I won't tell you. You know, my big sister works at the same city college. You. you know her? She's pretty and kind. I'm so proud to call her my sister. In fact, I'm going to congratulate her on my marriage today. It's been a while since I've seen her, so I'm pretty excited. Please see, I want to get this over a quick and head home. Well, she just so oh, I don't know anything. Yep. Sort of the deal going down. That's you, isn't it? The hangar. Oh, come on, man. Oh, you see me such a important photo. What's that? I forgot to submit. How did he get that? those photos? It'll be easier for you. You just come out with it. All I do is what I was told. Hand over documents to get paid. 
I learned more from the other guy who took the lift. I don't even know his name. But for everything but the way this man trucked and moved us south off, did he act his age for instance? No, nothing. I see. In that case. Oh, there it is. Oh, shit. Have you ever heard the name Twilight? Oh, damn, that's what he was trying to find out. You're shitting me. Of course he'd know Twilight. Twilight's such a big mover and shaker within the industry. Then, of course, Yuri would be waiting to find Twilight. Huh? Who's that? A Western spy. He seems he's a master of disguise. He's really the root of all evil, bringing turmoil to this country. You could say he's our nemesis. If it could help you catch the guy, could you drop my charges? Do you know something? Oh, wait, I'll try to remember. If you feed us bull, it'll only add to your crime, so do be careful. I just did it for the money so I could spend it on ladies. Didn't mean any ill. You have a wife, don't you? You have a guy, so you get it, don't you? Oh, this guy is scum. Oh, it'd be one thing if he was trying to... He was, like, deep and dead and shit like that, and he panicked, and... You know, shit like that. It's just like, okay, yeah, I can get that. You're trying to support your family, and you made some mistakes. But to be like, oh, I did to get girls, it's just like, fuck you. <laughs> I say that as someone who struggled with money before and has got himself in some bad situations because of it. It's just like, that I can empathize with. But this, it's like, ah. Oh, Oh, you're kind of an asshole. It's just silly papers. It wasn't politically motivated or anything. Please let me off, man. Please. Sister Hayward. The thing is, I never told my sister I work for the state security service. I wouldn't want to worry her since it's a dangerous job and all. But mostly, I didn't want her knowing I do this dirty work. Ooh. Mr. Hayward. What you did was treason. I might have just been a piece of paper to you, but your actions may have endangered the lives of countless citizens in our country. Do you understand? And like you, I love my family. I love my big sister. I'll do anything to protect this country. Home to my sister. <laughs> Holy fuck! <sighs> anything at all. Really? You beat me all you like? I won't sell up my comrades. Daddy, you got some grit, Bondman. If you can only show the same focus when it comes to her studies. Only two bullets left. How many shots can Bondman special shoot? The guy's got a gun with eight chambers, I think. Two eight. There it is! Ah, yes! That's the kind of way you teach a child, with things that appeal to them. That's right. That's right. Remaining one minute said two eights. You picked up quite the phrase. Does she find it easier to explain through cartoons? It's an emergency, Mr. Yoid. Like a home, Mr. Yoid. Remaining ammunition to <laughs> this little child. Oh, that is just like a kid. The moment they pick up on something to say, they say it relentlessly, thinking it's the coolest thing. God, I remember when I used to do that as a kid. I don't remember when I used to say that. It was, I think it was SpongeBob. I, I think I quoted a lot of SpongeBob when I was younger. Yuri, my baby brother, he's coming here today. Wait, why tonight? Tonight. So he said he absolutely had to come congratulate me. What should we do? Do you think he'll see through our cover? Not to worry. I prefer the happily married spouse. A happily married spouse set. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Continuing on. Happily married spouse set. Something about the terminology behind that really just threw me. I prepared a happily married spouse set for just the occasion. Oh, oh, um, elaborately doctored photos. Okay, I hate everything about this. Ah, oh. <laughs> this, this has gone too far. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it so much. Take it away. Take it away. I hate this. Like, this went from, okay, it's modest and nice and all that good stuff, to, it's obvious you're hiding something. <laughs> that look. Father and mother are flirting. We are not. Mother's brother still isn't here. You mean your uncle. Uncle? Aw, oh, she's sleeping. It's late. Give it up. Go to bed. I want to welcome uncle, too. He must be held up at work. Oh. Jesus. Jesus, son. Jesus. Them flowers! My temper got the better of me and I ended up running late. Uh, I can finally see this. It's been a while. Oh my god. I feel an itch in my ribs. This broke way back. Oh my god. Did you never get your ribs looked at? 
Dude! The memory of being enveloped in love makes my whole body tingle. Gross. So, why didn't she tell me about her marriage for a whole year at that? Oh, no way, maybe the guy is a real piece of work so he couldn't bear to introduce him. I'll eliminate all, any and all threats to the country home to my system. That applies to her spouse. Lloyd Forger. If he's a piece of shit that puzzles his friends and sits, I'll lock him up in a flash. No, calm down. I can't show that side of myself. If I want to protect my post and my happiness, I need to hide my true colors. Yuri Briar. The only extended family we forge have. Or more likely to slip around friends and family so I can be careful. I've made, made good headway building this family. I can't afford to lose it now. Some things we don't share with anyone. Not friends, not lovers, not even family. Hello, nice to meet you. We hide our real feelings behind fake smiles and false bravado. I feel like you're not talking about spies anymore, you're just talking about normal people. We hide our true colors. In this way, the world maintains the illusion of peace. Jeez. Foreign Mr. Winter will hold his Western Foreign Mr. Bruce on the sick. Only to improve relations. Time to praise. Whether this guy's really good enough to our dear sister, whether this man might pose a danger to our household. No, there's no way he's good enough. Oh, let me take your coat and bag. I know, it's fine. Thank you very much. Will there be anything first? You know, we want something to eat. You think you make yourself comfortable. Please don't mind. As if I need your cooking. Oh, you're making such a scary face, right? You don't need to be nervous. I'm not. Not good. Did my animosity show through? Making sure I'm home. Still feeling the rush from the interrogation. I must play the part of a wonderful wife for Yuri. With Yuri, I've got to play the part of a serious so, civil servant with Sis. Jesus, all this double talk is really like tiring. I couldn't possibly tell him I got married to continue my work as an assassin. Jesus, thank you for the flowers, Yuri. Sis, I'm very still out on this marriage of yours. I think you say anything for a year. You could hardly accept that without a good explanation. The obvious line of inquiry. Now then, uh, so they prepared something regarding your brother. Oh, you just tell him the whole truth. In fact, single women are odd with suspicion as a serious issue given the current climate. So surely your brother would understand. No, my brother's a little how do I put this high strung? He thinks that I think if you found out that I was uh, married to someone I don't well love, you might get quite upset, which may spell some trouble for you too, Mr. Lloyd. Besides, I don't want to worry my brother if I can avoid it. Please don't worry. Sorry, I got a very good excuse up my sleeve. I know you're better than anyone, so please leave this to me. I can't think I'm gonna see you. So how about it, sis? Oh, you see. I <laughs> see. <laughs> the perfect excuse is I forgot. I mean, shit gets away from you. I get that. I don't think he'll accept that explanation, or uh, unless you really are that much of a ditz here. Oh. <laughs> Glass breaks. Uh, uh, oh, I forgot. You talked on the phone the other day. You said you had a partner. I not say it. Uh, oh, that's that I forgot that I forgot to tell you about my marriage. <laughs> Another glass break. <laughs> 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 oh man, no. This shit is killing me. Oh, oh, I, I'm freaking crying. Oh no. <laughs> you say so, 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 I guess that's the way it is. I'm sorry. He bought it. The man lost all reason when it came to his sister. Gosh, oh, you're such a ditch, sis. This is normal. <laughs> It's just lucky he's an idiot when it comes to his sister. <laughs> Thanks for waiting. Don't worry if you spending quality time with my sis. No. I can't keep acting cold. I might leave this with a bad impression. Make a show of voice cooking is really very good, isn't it? Don't go thinking you can win me over with a cooking you monster. <laughs> he's just scarfing it down like... <laughs> Oh, yeah, I brought a bottle of wine too. I guess. Yeah, you shouldn't have. I'll get you drunk. Uh, you have your three colors to be you filth. You shouldn't miss your. I know. Shame. <laughs> You're your boozer. 
So, how did the two of you meet? It was at the Teeth Fair Tree. It caught the impression the total stranger staring at me. I was just staring by a beauty, you see. Spoken like an idiot. The topic risks a slip up. Better change the subject. Of course, several lunch. You just click. Where, when, and how many times did you go out for lunch? Name of the restaurant? How many meetings before you entered into a relationship? Would it be on your marriage? Uh, how does it feel like an interrogation? How did you feel you refer to each other? Uh, I just call it yours. No matter if or anything? Just, <laughs> call him Loi Loi? <laughs> Loi Loi? Or Loi <laughs> <laughs> this is <weird. laughs> It just goes off the rails so fast. Huh? Huh? <laughs> 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 oh my god! I just call him Mr. Lloyd, you know? This man lost all sense of region, etc. Are you alright? Here, some water. What the hell does this even see in this guy, huh? So he can cook a little, so what? I mean, he's just handsome, tall, considerate doctor. I mean... <laughs> You're calm down. So being bad drugs runs in the family. Well, I wanted to ask you, Mr. Yun. You're a diplomat, right? Change the subject. That's quite the profession. This yours always boasting about you. And from Mr. Dome. You just recently went to Hogari, right? Huh? Yeah. Oh, it's just a work trip. Although, well, yeah. It was a beautiful city. You should have seen it, sir. A lot of cafes, too. There's this old shop the Empress would visit back in the day. Was it Capital Oda? They have a lot of fine restaurants there, don't they? I went there for my medical training way back then. Yeah. I mean, quite the regular. The old man who owns the place makes the most of swims, too. I had that, too. Yeah. It's one, too, I see it's like, uh, yeah, very good stuff. All that. This type of heavy street. This came across as a silver store of heavy. This cost a pretty penny. Twenty dollars. Wait. <laughs> $200. Yeah. I knew it. Oh, that's quite expensive. Thank you very much. This back and forth. That, it's right out of a sunny intelligent AC manual for creating a cover story. Oh. Wait. It's one of their templates for fabricating a trip abroad. So the story is alive from start to finish. After all, the old owner of Kaha has passed the place down to his son now. As this wine recent poor harvest have bumped the price up to $300. Holy shit. That little charade might fool an amateur, but it won't work on me. Very dry. I suspected as much when I heard he worked for the foreign office. A lot of spies start as this will not try telling him why the passage. I got Frankie to investigate. There was no evidence the guy worked in office this past year. He must have been scouted by an artillery based on what we could find. He's like part of a national counterintelligence agency. <laughs> That level of deduction would make Sherlock's homes blush. The secret police. So, it's a little risky. But as long as he doesn't suspect me, might not be so bad to keep relations. If I could stay a step ahead, he could be an involved in search of interest. They should have sent you something in return. Aren't you happy you got such a nice brother in law, Yuri? I see if he's keeping a real job secret from this year, too. Real handling might be easier than expected, Yuri. I said I won't have this, then my sis. This is what I'm call this guy my brother. Man, I hear you. Yeah, right, you know. I've made my way in this world, sheltered up and now I can buy pricey booze. But it's all thanks to my sister. The dirt poor since we didn't have any parents. So far we could barely afford to see for the sure it's late. And part time job. Um, how long has she been doing this job? What happened? You're covered in blood. What do you do for your part-time job? That's fine. This isn't my blood! <laughs> like, oh my god, what happened to you? You're covered in blood! No worries, it's not my blood. It's like, dot, dot, dot. Never mind that you. Look what I got. I don't know. It's the inside of the party you said you wanted. I want the money for the job life. That's true. Well, this has always worked yourself to the bone for me. <laughs> I swear to myself. I swear, I'm sorry. That smile covered in blood that is not hers is... Ooh boy! 
I shuffled up fast to become the man capable of attacking my sister and beat her to protect the whole flesh and blood for the rest of my life. Can you imagine? She's my only family, the most important person in the world. And then I came to protect her from me. Yeah, I want her to get married and be happy someday. Her father will be someone who can protect her better than me, though. You really think you're fit for the role? Lottie! <laughs> I want to put my brother's mind at ease. I, I love Miss Yuri, just as much as he did. Oh, my daughter's very fond of Miss Yuri too. No, it's all an act. I gotta throw my brother off. He's family to me now. From hell or high water. Or even a media strike. All you should have protected until death do us part. The man told a bull face <laughs> <why? laughs> Oh, a media, right? I'm sure I can see her safely. What a <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> What are you? Are you actually something special? Oh, the fuck is cheap, you liar. Yeah, you have the look of a liar. Mm. You're clumsy as ever. You got the look of a liar? Did he see you right through me? No, there's no way. Oh? Hey, you've been married a whole year. A little rush of the hand, and are you really husband and wife? <laughs> oh, no! A lovely dummy pair. That's right. Suspicious. Alright, if you really are husband and wife, then prove it. Oh, if you want to see the certificate, that's what I meant. You two kids here and now. It should be easy enough if you love each other. <laughs> oh, you're watching. Just once will do. Then I'll believe you. If not only the City Hall revoke your marriage certificate. Things have taken a bad turn. What to do? No, calm down. I'm the best angel of my father. I'm not even calling to women like this. There's a kiss with you and it takes forever. Jeez. Of course, no problem. Wait, Mr. Lloyd. You're just doing what we always done, you are. Come on. For a cover. But, oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Ugh. That was fun. <laughs> that was so much fun. Ugh. Yuri's a great addition. <laughs> Yuri's a great addition. Cause, cause it makes sense for him to be overly suspicious about a lot of things. And his obsession with his sister being what clouds a lot of his judgment, but also leads him on the right track to certain things. It's just... A different level of wild. This ended up being so much more fun than I thought it would be. And I'm wondering how do they get out of this? Like, it, it's, <laughs> it's the depths of a spy married to an assassin for a fake marriage of convenience have to convince her brother, who is a counterintelligence agent, that they are happily married for a year. And thus hijinks ensue. Honestly, it, the shame is that Anya is not involved with any of this. Seriously, that is the biggest shame of all of this. No Anya. Like, oh, I want her to meet Yuri. What kind of shenanigans happen when Anya meets Yuri? But I, I kind of assume that we had to get her brother soon. Or I'm just glad that we've gotten her brother. Because, like, we've been leaning so far into the relationship of Lloyd and Anya that I feel like we've kind of been, like, neglecting Yur. So I'm glad we're getting a good amount of that, too. Although I would also love to see at least a few more adventures of Anna and Yur bonding. Ugh, but yeah. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. How do you think this little confrontation will end? How do they get Yuri off their cake? Let me know your thoughts and theories in the comment section below. Subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video. Or don't. I ain't your daddy, but I still love you like one. Until next time, I've been Deuce Sisden, and I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye